All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo ThinkPad P50. All right, so first thing we're going to do is remove the battery. So just slide this little latch to the unlock position. All right, just like that, it'll pop up. You can use this little notch here to lift the battery out. If you need a replacement battery, let's see if there's a battery model number here. Um, I don't see a specific battery model number here. There are these little part numbers here that you can use. I don't know if you can read that, uh, but yeah, there's like the, the PN, those are part numbers, all right? So there you go. Otherwise, you can just search P50 battery. There we go, we'll put the battery aside. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove a bunch of screws from the bottom. So first thing we're gonna do is remove this bottom cover. So we're gonna remove all the screws from here. These are using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. Okay, so we're going to remove the screws holding this cover in place. Two, three, okay, four, five. So this laptop actually has um, a keyboard drainage hole. Um, I don't know if there's multiple, but I see one. So if you spill liquid in your keyboard on this model, you actually want to leave it. Um, you don't want to flip it upside down, and I'll show you why in a bit. All right, so once you remove all the screws, there's this little um, notch here, just like with the battery. We're going to lift it up. All right, it's kind of stuck, but go ahead and lift that up. There's all the clips there, so you're going to have to kind of help it along. All right, so kind of just pull this up here. All right, slowly work your way over. Just like this, all right. Work your way down. Okay, feels like there's some adhesive stuck there, but there we go. All right, and there, now we got the cover off. So you can see the screws actually stay in place. This kind of looks like it made some burning stuff here, so that's kind of scary. But um, yeah, we're gonna set this cover aside. You got the hard drive here, the little connector is right there. Um, this design looks a little odd. I think it's one where it just pops up. So it's kind of weird that they have it like this. So there's actually a second connector here for, looks like for an SSD. And then you got another SSD here as well. I'm not sure what type of SSD this is, but it looks like we're gonna have to take all of this out. So we're gonna take all of it out. All right, you got the two sticks of RAM here. All right, this is a 16 gig stick of RAM. Um, and PC 42133P. To remove that, you have these latches. You just pull these two to the side and it pops up like this, all right? Just like that. Once you get the RAM popped up, sorry, there's all these plastic tabs, then you can go ahead and pull this out. All right, I'm actually gonna take out all these components because I am going to try and do, there's a lot of dust in here. We're gonna try and clean this up. It looks like they actually burnt some stuff in here. It might be, I don't know if it's smoke from cigarettes or something or uh, candles or incense or could be anything or it could be, I don't know, hopefully it's not something burned inside because they did say this one got so hot it shut itself off. So let's pull those two tabs to the side, pops up like that, same thing, we'll pull the RAM out. Right, there's another 16 gig stick, so 32 gigs of RAM in here. All right. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna disconnect this. Again, this connector is one where you kind of just lift it up. It's kind of a little bit tricky. You just have this plastic tab here, but you kind of just pull it up. You might have to wiggle it a little. Here you can see it came up on one side. Let me actually zoom in a bit here. Okay, so the connector actually comes up from here. I don't know why they didn't put the tab here to pull it straight up. It's weird that it's towards the back, so you kind of have to be careful. All right, once you get that connector out, let's zoom out. Sorry, the camera's shaking a bunch. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we got this little pull tab here. There are little clips that go in this way, so what you wanna do is you pull the tab back this way, and then you can kind of lift it up. All right, there we go. So let's see if I can show you that. All right, we're gonna have to wiggle this out. There we go, it's, it's caught there. I don't know, there's like some gunk there, sticky stuff. All right, but here you go. You can see this little notch there that sticks out. So that's why you need to pull it back so it clears this little hole here. And there's a 500 gig hard drive right there. All right, you're gonna wanna remember. So here you can see this other slot is if you have a second hard drive. So there's the option of two of these SSDs or you can take this SSD tray out and then you can put another hard drive in there. 
All right, so we're going to take this tray out. There's one screw there. Again, you're gonna to wanna to keep track of all these screws. All right, so once I remove that screw, I'm gonna pull this back, I think. Oh yeah, so you kind of lift this up a little bit and then you can pull it back. And oh, that's actually just removing the plastic tray. I might not actually have to remove this plastic tray, so let me see if I leave that in there. What we're going to do now is let's go ahead and take this screw out. Okay, and then let's lift the, can we lift the SSD? How does this pop out? It's like stuck in there. Hmm, okay. So, uh, okay, that's holding there. Let's go ahead and remove this as well. Okay, just like that. If you pull this back slightly, let's see, you lift it and you can see the SSD is right there. Okay, and then you can kind of lift the SSD as well. And let's go ahead and pull the whole thing out. So let's get this. Okay, grab the SSD and pull it back. And there we go, got the whole thing out. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't coming out with the whole tray. It should actually come out with the whole tray so that you don't have to take the whole thing out like that. So we're gonna get that back into place and we're gonna put that screw to hold the SSD back in place. I guess this screw doesn't really um, hold the SSD from sliding back. So we'll actually leave that set aside and we'll put them back later. Okay, so we got that. Here you can see there's the two slots there. I don't know if we need to remove this screw as well, but I'm gonna do it anyways, cause we're gonna have to remove a whole bunch of screws in here. So this one again is pretty tricky to keep track of. There's a lot of stuff. There's the DC jack or charge port connector here. Oops. So let's go ahead. This design's kind of nice cause if you break the charge port, you can actually um, kind of take this out here. You kind of just wiggle it like that. You can plug another one in and test it without having to completely disassemble the computer. And then once you find out that it's bad, then you can go ahead and take the whole computer apart. I mean, I wish they made it easier with a little notch here, but um, at least you can test it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and remove all the screws. Again, this is going to be a long process, there's a lot of screws in here, and then we're also gonna have to remove the keyboard from the other side. So let's go ahead, start removing screws. And again, if I didn't mention it to keep the screws in order, I get the screws like this and put them with the flat side down. In the pattern I remove it, and that's how I keep track of it. All right, so we're gonna remove that. All these other screws that are under the panel, um, you're gonna have to check the cover to make sure you remember where the screws were, where there weren't holes. All right, this screw's super long. Wow, it's still going, there we go. So this screw's super long. Again, you wanna keep track of all your screws. All right, I'm gonna remove this one next. Wow, these screws are kinda of tough to remove. Okay, I'm gonna put them closer together so I can keep track of it a little bit better. There we go. I'm gonna get this screw in this corner here. go just like that we're gonna slowly work our way down the line we got the keyboard screw here move that okay sometimes it helps to have a magnet but it looks like I can get them out all right set that screw aside we're gonna continue going across and here you see another screw gonna remove that one as well this laptop has some case intrusion like little things. So there's a little lever here that if it's up, so basically when you have the cover off, it detects that the um, the cover has been lifted out. All right, let's go ahead and remove this screw here. There we go, so we got those three. And then let's continue going down. We got these silver ones here. Again, it's a lot of screws, so try and keep the pattern of how you're removing them, so that way you can know where to put them back. Okay, I'll remove this tiny one here. I like to do it in rows of just like going down the line, and that helps me remember where the screw came from. Okay. 
Got all of those. I'm gonna put this one next to the SSD screw for at least that's that'll help me memorize it better. But again, do it however it helps you. All right, we got another screw down here. Okay, and then we got three screws going along the bottom down here. So we're gonna remove those. And hopefully that's all the screws from the bottom. We're gonna flip the thing over and then we're gonna have to remove the keyboard. All right, so you got that. Let's go ahead and lift this up, flip this over, open this up. It's pretty dusty. I might have to clean that out as well. Have to be careful not to knock the screws over. All right, so here you can see we got the keyboard here. All right, it looks like it slides under here, so we are going to very likely have to lift it from this side first. Let's see here. In a lot of these, you can actually slide these keyboards upwards, but it seems kind of stuck here, so that's kind of weird. Let me see if I missed any keyboard screws. Okay, got that one, that one. Nothing under there. Okay, so the keyboard screw, there's one, two three keyboard screws it looks like. I think that's all of them. All right, so let's go ahead and open this again. Okay, and again, if I remember correctly, the keyboard is supposed to slide up like this. I've worked on some models like this. Um, it might be tricky. Let me see if I have a good wide flat tool to use. Might have to just use my little pry tool here. Okay, so what you do, get in here and then you kind of slide this back, but it is stuck. It might be because there's all this gunk in here. Um, so we're gonna see if we can somehow slide this. It's kind of stuck, so I don't know. Come on. Wow, this is really stuck here. So yeah, normally this is supposed to slide back, but it's really stuck. It's most likely because of the gunk that's in there. There we go, it's moving. So there's a lot of gunk in here that normally this thing isn't so difficult to slide it up this direction, but because of that gunk, so I'm gonna try and slice through it. It's making this really difficult to move. Okay, we're gonna just keep working to push it up. Come on. I think I have to use a thinner tool to get in between there. I'm gonna use the needle here. And we're gonna get that in between there. Okay. Try and scrape up the gunk that's in here. Again, it's not supposed to have this stuff kind of gluing it into place. So normally it's a lot easier to move the keyboard here. Okay gonna get this gunk out and throw it away. All right. So as you can see, this left side is going up and then it exposes these little pins that hold underneath here. And if we can't get that out, I don't know how I'm gonna get the keyboard out. Let me see here. Okay, well, we're just gonna keep trying. I'm gonna turn the tool sideways so I get a little bit more um, a wider thing to tool to push it. Wow, that's stuck in there real good. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this out. We're just, I don't know, we're gonna have to keep trying. So, come on. So this, these buttons also go slide up with it, so, and you wanna be careful. Jeez. Trying to slice through this stuff so that makes it easier, but it's really stuck there. Come on. Maybe I have to slide the tool under here too. I don't know if some stuff here is stuck. Or not underneath, but along the side here. Let's go along the edge. 
thingy just like that. I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. Okay, let's see if I can push this up slightly. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. It's stuck in there really strong. <laughs> this is a keyboard. Okay, let's try laying it down this way and see if I can use that to kind of get the tool in there and use this to kind of leverage it down. But I have to be careful with the screen. <laughs> Jeez. This is really stuck in there. Okay. Slide down. I need to cut more of this stuff here. Wow. Okay, am I missing a screw here or something? Let's see under here. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Got that screw out. Pretty sure we got all the screws out, so I don't know. Here you can see like the burnt smoke stuff was going on the SSD there. It's pretty crazy. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is... It's stuck really strong in there. Like, I can get this side. You can see it's coming up. But... And this keyboard is supposed to slide underneath the frame here. Let's see if I can get the tool under there and maybe that will help. Okay. Slide the tool under there. Okay. As you can see, it slides under there, no problem, but this doesn't want to move. Oh, God. It actually moved a little bit, so we're getting there. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. We're going to... Just keep working this thing back. Okay, here you can see these ones can actually clear the area now, but I need to get the other one out. Well, let's try and clear this area first and then lift it up a little bit. That might help. Okay. Kind of a little bit, not really. Okay, the problem is it's going at a weird diagonal now, so it's not letting me lift it out properly. So let's try and... I'm going to need like two of these tools. Alright, let me use like these popsicle sticks that I got here. I'm going to use that to help hold that out, and then we're going to use this to help lift it up. There we go. Looks like it's working. Let's get the popsicle sticks in there. Maybe I'm going to have to use <laughs> the popsicle sticks to lift this keyboard out. If I can even get this popsicle stick in here. There we go. So we're going to use the popsicle stick to help pry this forward. Alright, I got a lot of these popsicle sticks. Let's go ahead and pop this one forward some more. Wow, it's going to take a It's actually destroying the popsicle stick. It's going to take quite a bit of force here. Okay, let's rotate the popsicle stick over. Let's see if we can get... There we go. Can we get a popsicle stick in down here? Looks like it's working. Jeez. Okay. Let's get another popsicle stick over here. There we go, it's moving. Okay, I think we cleared this side. So we're going to use this tool get in there and lift that up past the thing. There we go. Wow, this is going to take a lot of force to pop this thing completely out. Let's actually get a popsicle stick under there so it doesn't fall back in. Okay. I'm going to continue prying this back with the popsicle sticks. There we go. It's coming up. Slowly getting it there. There we go. Get these popsicle sticks and use them. <laughs> Put these popsicle sticks to use. There we go. All right. So now that we've gotten that up, 
can lift this up slightly here. Again, it's not supposed to have sticky stuff under there, but I don't know, this computer's old, so here we go. I'm gonna pull this slightly forward. Once you do that, you can actually pull the keyboard up. Again, it's not supposed to be stuck in here. So I'm gonna try and pull the keyboard out. Man, it's stuck good. The thing is, if I yank it too quick, it might yank the cable, so I have to be very careful. So I'm going to use that, and I'm going to use my hand to slide that back. All right. Grab the other one. Same thing. Slide that back. Why is it stuck in there? It should not be stuck in there. Okay. I guess I have to... Do I use more popsicle sticks here? Let's get the popsicle stick in there and help slide this over. Come on, there we go. That's what we wanted. Okay, so now that we got that, we can kind of move this, maneuver this around. And here you can see the connection here. Wow, this is like burnt, burnt. Okay, so I'm gonna end up with black smoke dust all over. So these cables, just like all the other ones, you have these latches, you flip those latches, and then you can go ahead and pull these cables out. Okay, you can see this here. I'm gonna try and clean this off with a paper towel a little bit. Just wipe this up. Here you can see how black it is. I don't know what's going on there. It's like it sucked up smoke. Look, this thing's like burnt here too. Wow. Okay. It cleans off. So that's a good sign. I think. <laughs> all right. So we're going to clean off all that burnt stuff. Here you can see it was sticking here. There's some sticky residue there. So I don't know if it was sticking because of some liquid or it actually looks like it might have melted there. So we're going to just clean up inside here. This is actually one of the most annoying ones to have to change thermal paste on because you'll, well, you'll see as I take everything out. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to clean all of these little components here because they're covered in like soot. Let's get the SSD out. So the SSD, you can actually slide it out like this. Okay, this adhesive's in the way, so I'm going to lift it up and then continue sliding it through. At least I think, oh yeah, that's how you get it out. Okay. So here you got a 950 Pro SSD. Okay. Hmm, why is it so difficult to move this thing? Let's go ahead and put it back in because it doesn't want to come out, right? Oh, there we go. It's kind of wiggling out. Okay, we got the SSD out here. So there we go. This is likely upgraded. I don't know if it actually came with this. There's all this burnt residue here, so I'm going to clean that off as well. I don't know if you can see it. Wow. Okay. That's pretty crazy. It's all like burnt up in there. I don't know what the best way to get this thing back. Okay, let me see here. Make sure I'm putting it the right way. The notch is towards the left side. So when this goes in there, then this goes that way. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this back in. Is it possible to even put it from this side? Maybe. Oh yeah. Okay. It's easier to put it from this side. So when you take this out, actually, it's easier if you kind of lift this side up. Actually, once you get it in there, it doesn't want to come out. Okay. You slide it down slightly and then you can lift this up and then you can pull it out a lot easier. So that's the easiest way to do it. It looks like I'm going to slot that back in, get that in, make sure your connections here aren't getting all dirty. So you might have to wipe it off. Okay, again, I'm going to clean all this burnt stuff off of all the components, just like this. This stuff, I don't know if it's going to clean off, but here you can see, oh yeah, even the burnt stuff is coming off of there, so, wow. Okay, I'm going to probably use the toothbrush and then air blow this thing out. These little stickers are probably just going to fall off. We don't really need them. Um, probably just going to throw it away, but... Let's see. I don't want to leave like loose stickers floating around in there, so maybe I'll just put it in their bag for them. 
All right, so I'm gonna clean this up and I will be back. We probably should clean up this as well. Well, the rest I'm gonna do when I take it outside after I get it all completely taken apart. Oh, that suit, suit came out as well. I don't know why the burnt stuff is only on that side and not on this side, but well. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna clean this off. All right, so I'm back. I didn't really clean up that well. It looks like that stuff is permanently stained on there, but whatever, we'll set that aside. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. Let's get that sticker out of the way. We don't need that. I'm gonna run out of desk space, aren't I? All right, so anyways, let's see here. I'm gonna move some stuff around so that I have a little more room to work. Okay, there's too many components on this one. All right, so. That and this, all right. Okay, let's go ahead and start taking all this stuff out. So we're actually going to have to take all these little wireless antenna wires and everything out this is one of the most annoying like computers to get to the internal components but it is what it is all right so we're going to unlatch all of these i'm not going to be able to see what i'm showing you guys because now my the computer's blocking the way but flip these latches up all right once you do that you can pull these cables out okay it helps to use the little excuse me let me zoom in Okay, it helps to use these little tabs if you can, these plastic ones. You kind of have to lift it and pull it back a little. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off the connectors in case they got dirty. All right, same thing, grab that, pull that out. There we go. All right, I think this whole piece is going to eventually pull out. Let me see if there were any other screws on the other side. Are they hiding screws under these? I don't know, I hope not. Okay, let me see. I'm going to use a little plastic tool just to pick it up. Make it so difficult to work on this. Let's see here. Can I get underneath this? I don't think there's screws under here because that would be very difficult for people to work on. Yeah, I don't know. I can't even lift that. So I think I'm going to leave that as is. I don't think there's screws there. I remember correctly okay all right let's flip this back over so let's disconnect this cable as well I believe this is the speaker cable and the way I remove that just like every other one except this one is vertical is you kind of just use your fingernails and just wiggle it and keep wiggling it okay it's a little tough but just keep wiggling it if you don't have fingernails, you can use plastic pry tools. If you get frustrated, you can use metal tools, but you'll probably end up breaking the plastic. But uh, just keep wiggling and pulling. Okay, wiggling and pulling. Actually, this one might not be a wiggle and pull one. It might be a force out. Okay, well, let's see. There we go. Okay, it came out. It did take a bit of force, but not like crazy amount. Okay. Let's see here, what else? Oh, I need to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so we're gonna get this connector out of here. So as you can see, it's underneath these adhesive things. We're gonna lift this up, kind of peel that out. All right, same thing with this side. Whichever side, you just peel it up, okay? It's a little bit tricky. Don't use the cable to peel it up because then you can easily damage those. So let's see here, what should I, which way should I go? Okay, I'm gonna peel the top, I'll leave this side stuck down. So we're gonna peel the right side and this side. That way we can take this out and take out the antenna cables as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove these antenna cables. So, um, oops, sorry, let's zoom out. Okay, so the antennas for here aren't attached to anything, we're just gonna Remove them and get them out of the way, okay? Peel that tape up, peel it off the other thing here. Might be a little tricky because they taped it on weird, so we're gonna have to go in from this side and peel that up. There we go. And we can lift these two antenna wires out of the way. Then we got the wireless card here. 
So just like every other wireless card, I'm going to leave that in there, but you just take it out with one screw. You can pull it up like the RAM and pull it back. All right, so to remove this, oh, this one, they like to do this for some reason. Sometimes they'll put the gray cable on the black arrow, so I'm going to mark that just so I know. All right, hold that out of the way. And then you want to lift it at the tails of the antennas. It's hard for you to see, I know, but uh, just pry, uh, pry it up at the tail. All right. Same thing with the other side. Go to the tail and then pop that up if you can. There's not much room here, but where you can, get underneath there and then pull up the tail. There we go. All right. You got all these other little connectors as well, but we're going to remove these antennas first. All right. We're also going to remove this. This is the LCD LVDS connector. Um, I don't think I mentioned it, but after removing the battery, you want to press and hold the power button for 10 to 15 seconds. I don't think I did that on this one. So make sure you do that. All right. It's very important, mostly for removing the LCD or LVDS connector. For removing the other components, it's usually not a big deal. All right, there we go. So this connector, grab this little blue tab and you're gonna pull it straight up, just like this. You might have to wiggle it a little to pull it, but there we go. All right, this orange cable, I don't know why the orange and other black, which one? The white cable actually, it has a black sheath over it. So you're gonna peel this up and get that disconnected. All right, there we go. Then you got all of this, so we're going to peel these edges off. So peel the adhesive part here out before you pull the cables up. So there we go. And we're going to go ahead and undo the cabling here. It looks like the black and blue ones go one way and the orange and gray ones go the other way. All right. And then this part is adhesive down. So we're going to keep going out this way. Actually, where's this coming? Untucking. Well, we'll just untuck that. All right. Pull that out. All right, there we go. Unthread that. I'm gonna tuck that back under there. Go. This is going all the way across. Okay, it looks like it's easier to peel up this side, so let's peel up that side. Just peel whichever one's easier for you guys. All right, peel this up as well. There go. All right, and here you can see the antennas go over this way. We might have to, okay, no, this one doesn't, have, does it? I don't know if they're hiding screws on this one. I'm gonna have to see if I can peel up this part. They might be hiding screws under these little plastic tabs here. So I'm gonna check, I'm gonna use a needle here and we're gonna peel this up and, oh shoot, they're hiding two screws under there. So we're gonna do that. <clears throat> I'm gonna peel up this one as well. All right, I believe those are the, the hinge screws actually, and that keeps the hinges locked down into here. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so for now I'm gonna leave them in because I need to unthread all these things real quick. All right, and then I believe this panel will come out as well, if you can even see what I'm looking at. All right, so these orange and gray antennas will go under that way, and this cable will go over that way. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect these cables as well, just like the speaker one. I don't remember if some of these we might not have to actually remove, but I'm gonna remove them just to be safe. So pop this up. Man, this would be so much easier if I didn't have my broken nails. There we go. Again, people tell me to cut my nails, but they're super useful. So I'm get underneath here and pop this one out as well. There we go. All right, so we got a few screws here. There's one screw here. Let's go ahead and remove that. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys are able to keep track of all these screws. There are so many screws on this one. All right, once you remove that screw, this metal thing, if you notice, it's slid under here, so we have to slide it over to the right. Okay, let's see, how can I slide it over to the right like that, and then you can lift it out and put that over here. 
And there's actually two more sticks of RAM here. Wow, this thing has a lot of RAM. So pull these two tabs to the side. Stick of RAM comes out just like that. And here you can see this is also PC4 2133P, 16 gigs. So this thing also has 64 gigs of RAM. I'm going to try and clean this up because this thing is dirty. So I'm just going to get a paper towel and wipe it off. Okay, you want to be careful with this stuff because this is a lot of RAM. So if you have to replace it, then you're going to, yeah, it's not going to be cheap. All right, we're going to lift up this one. And I'm actually going to, let's actually leave the RAM in there. I don't want to leave, leave the RAM out here. I'm going to put this stick of RAM back in. All right. A lot of times if your computer doesn't turn back on after um, reassembling it, it can be loose RAM or the contact points of the RAM are dirty. Keep that in mind. You might have to um, clean them off or something. All right, there's one more screw here. Let's remove that. All right, so now that we got all those screws out, let's see if we can pop the bottom panel off. I'm going to zoom out a little more. And a little more. Oops, way too much. There we go. Stay still. Okay, so let's see if we can pop this off. Usually you have to kind of wiggle this a little bit. Alright, I hope it's not stuck with some liquid or something. Or melted into place. Alright, I'm going to try and get underneath this panel here. Okay. Uh, it's holding on really strong. This side's also coming up kind of easy, but okay. So this side for some reason came out a lot easier, but not the rest. So here you can see there's a little clip there. So we're going to work our way up the side here. There we go. Oh, sorry. I'm kind of blocking the view. So we're working our way and we're just removing this plastic panel here. So you're going to want to work your way into this. It helps to kind of pull the front, the inside up, and basically rotating it this way. So let me put it back this way, and hopefully it'll be easier for you guys to see. So we're basically rotating it this way, okay? You might have to peel this cable up here. Oh no, yeah, I think I'm going to have to peel this up. So I'm going to grab this cable, slowly peel it. You don't want to pinch this too hard because you don't want to break that cable from creasing it so we're just going to peel it and there you go if you noticed i was holding this down so that when the thing released it didn't just yank it out really hard all right again we're twisting this part upwards and then pushing this part inwards so that's usually the easiest way you can undo these clips here but these clips are pretty strong so and i have to be careful not to knock those screws over yeah, normally you would put your screws far away from your work area just to be safe. I don't know why it's stuck there. Are there some hidden screws? Is it what I was thinking? Are there screws hidden under here? Let me try with a little tape if I can lift this a little. Kind of. Okay. And then let's try and use the plastic tool to get under there. And see. not getting in there too good. I need to get this tool under there. There we go. Okay, and let's see if we can somehow lift this plastic tab flap up. Is it peeling away or is it just going to tear? I don't think there were screws under here, but I need to make sure because I don't want to just yank really hard and damage something. All right, so that's coming up. Here you can see, okay, nope, there's no screws there, but there's this mechanism, so we're just going to close this back up. There we go. Alright, so I think that's just the fingerprint mechanism that's under there with the fingerprint cable. So we are just going to have to keep kind of working this thing, kind of wiggling this around and pulling it back. Okay. Yeah. Pretty sure we have to remove all of this. There 
I've worked on a few of these models before. There we go. I guess just have to use more force. But I don't like using too much force on these things because you can damage things permanently. So we're just trying to be careful here. Slowly lifting. Come on. Let's go ahead and work here. Here's the little drainage hole for the keyboard that I was talking about earlier. So if you spill liquid, it actually routes all the liquid to these little drain holes. Okay, let's open this up some more. Let's see if we can go ahead and pop this side up. Jeez, these clips are so strong. There we go. Slowly go. Oh, this side's broken. Okay. All right, and then we push that in that way and it came out. This side already was actually cracked. I don't know. You'll probably see it in the video. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting it to separate like that. So this cable is actually, looks like for the power button. Okay. That's going to make it harder for me to remove this bar because normally I use that. Okay, it's actually coming up not too difficult. All right, so let's go ahead and continue lifting this stuff out here. Why is it stuck so strong right there? Well, we got, let me see here, we got most of this side out, okay. This side is stuck for some reason. Might have helped to kind of pull it forward or push it backwards, but it doesn't want to move at all. Okay, this side's slowly coming up. What I'm doing is I'm trying to pull it this way as I lift it up. Okay. There we go. This side is slowly coming up. There we go. Again, I'm pulling it down towards myself as I lift it up, and that's the that's the trick that kind of helps unrelease unre this. I don't know why this corner is really stuck. I don't think there's more screws. Nope. So we just have to use more force. There we go. Okay, I don't really like using force, but sometimes it's necessary. There we go. Now we're gonna slowly kind of work this thing up and out. There we go, here you go. And we're gonna set that aside. So here you can see how the power button is in here. Again, this is not supposed to be broken. It has all this burnt residue in here. So I'm going to try and clean that off a little bit. I might have to use the toothbrush to do it. Yeah, that's not coming out. Okay. Yeah, that actually cleaned a little bit off. Wow, there's all this burnt residue under here. I'm wondering where that burnt stuff is coming from, though. I hope they didn't... I didn't try turning this one on. I should have tried turning this one on, because this is the one that was actually really badly damaged. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can add some like super glue here to make this thing hold, this broken piece hold better. So I got this bottle of super glue. I'm just gonna put it on one side. Yeah, come on, super glue, come out. Go, and just a little. Okay, don't want too much. I'm gonna close this up. And then we're gonna just hold these two layers together. So now we're gonna end up fixing more stuff than originally thought. All right. So we'll just hold this for about 30 seconds. Hopefully this will stick. Sometimes these plastics don't stick well with uh, with the super glue. <clears throat> okay, it's basically been about 30 seconds now, I think. Hold it a little longer. Okay, there we go. It is holding together. I'm going to wipe off this excess stuff here. All right, and then we'll also wipe 
the edges here that were pretty dirty. All right. Here you can see the little um, clip thingies that slide underneath. And now we're gonna set this part aside as well. Okay, let's see here. What else do we gotta remove here? There's a bunch more screws under here. Again, this is, there's a lot that goes on with this one, so. All right, let's go ahead and start removing the, okay, we got the other cable here. I don't know why, I don't remember. There's two, there's several cables here, so I don't know. This is actually, I think, the LCD cable. So let's go ahead and pull this cable up. Okay, these are usually really difficult to pull up. I usually have to get my fingernail underneath the little edge of this here. So let's see if I can pull this up. See, it's not coming up. So what I'm gonna do while I'm pulling this up, I'm getting my fingernail under there and pulling that, and there we go. All right, let's go ahead and unroute these cables here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and unroute these. Okay, there we go. Oh, don't forget this blue one. Okay, it's tucked under a little thing. Make sure to get it out. All right, so let's go ahead and start removing the hinge screws. Again, there were the four hidden under here. I don't know if I can hold this like that without it getting messed up, so let's hold it like this. Okay. So I can get that screw and this screw. Ow. My collarbone's still hurting a bit depending how I move my arm. All right, so there's a short screw on the middle one. So there's a long one and then a short one. So I'm guessing this first one's gonna be a short screw. And then the other one's probably the long one if it matches the pattern. Yep, that's a short one. And then... It's a longer one. All right. So we got those screws for the screen assembly out. Now we're going to remove the two here and the two here, and then we should be able to lift the whole screen out. All right, so let's get this screw out. And this screw out. I'm gonna have to tilt this forward so I can see what I'm doing to put these screws. Okay. Alright, this screw's much shorter and smaller. Sorry, I'm standing up so I can see. Alright, we'll remove this one as well. I don't remember if these metal things... Oh, I think those metal things are actually just caps. So you can actually take those metal caps off first. Alright, let's go ahead and take the other hinge screw out. We're almost there. Okay last hinge screw out. Okay, so I'm pretty sure these are just little metal covers, but okay, let's see if we can just lift the whole screen out with it. All right, so we're gonna try and pull the screen up and no, it's kind of stuck there. So I think we do have to somehow take these, there we go. So here you see I can lift that up. We're gonna do the same with that one, okay. And then we're gonna have to close the screen slightly. And I think that's how you lift them. Yep, okay, so you rotate it out and there we go. One, same thing with this side, rotate it out. I am keeping the screen slightly opened if you're wondering. All right, just like about that much, there we go. And there's a lot of dust in here too, so I'm gonna clean under there. Um, but actually the hinges are coming up so we can actually lift the whole screen out. Now be careful with the cabling. And there we go, so we got the screen out. Again, I'm gonna clean the dust off these little hinge areas. Okay. So, did you guys give up yet? Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you watch this video before starting so that you can decide whether it's worth it or not for you to attempt this because again, this is a very difficult, complex um, disassembly. So there we go, I got that one. Okay, 
Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the last few screws, and then I think we can pop the whole cover up. Okay, so we got all that. All right. So last, I think, are just these two screws here. Let's go ahead and remove those two. Let me zoom in some. Why is it so far zoomed out? There we go. All right. Last two screws. Hopefully you guys were able to remember where you got all the screws from. It is a lot of screws to remember. And if you got lost, I don't blame you. But, uh, yeah. All right. So we're going to lift this up. All right. Let me zoom out a little. Okay. So this whole middle central panel comes out as one piece here. And now I can kind of clean this up a little bit better. Okay. Probably gonna have to actually let me take this out and I'm gonna brush this up real quick. I'll also brush this out and then blow the dust out real quick. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. And when I pulled this out and I was cleaning it, I turned it over. I cleaned it up, but I noticed this whole area had burnt streak all over it. And what that correlates to is right here. So this is all supposed to be copper. Um, I've actually never seen this a different color like this. So I don't know if this thing is completely destroyed. I'm a bit worried because the copper is what gives it the good heat conductivity. I've never seen copper turn gray like this. So I'm not sure what this gray stuff on the copper is. Um, I mean... Let me see. I mean, I, I brushed it with the toothbrush and it didn't do anything. Let me see if I kind of clean it here. Nothing happens. Okay, let's try with a little rubbing alcohol because I've never seen copper turn gray from heat. I mean, that's okay. I mean, it's changing. It's turning darker when I clean it, but yeah, that's, I don't know. That's like completely burnt so I don't know if this is still gonna have good heat transfer capabilities or not um, but I mean I already took it apart this far so I mean I'm, I'm gonna have to just go ahead and continue with the um, repair and put the thermal paste if worst case is we're gonna have to end up getting a replacement of this and which means I'm going to have to completely take this whole thing apart again because I can't just leave this all these screws all over my desk. Especially if I leave for a trip or something, my cat's going to like knock all that stuff down. So I don't know. I hope this works cuz this was a lot of work. <laughs> okay. Technically the main um thing is as long as the internal materials are still copper which <laughs> I don't know because these things are the parts that get super hot um, I guess it's mostly the CPU because all the gray is here and here has a little more copper so I guess we'll find out all right let's go ahead and start removing the screws um, I'm not sure what oh that's the card reader thing all right anyways we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this this is the other fan connector so we already removed this one let me zoom in a bit let's stop the shaking all right there we go so again I like to use my fingernails to do this get under there and then just kind of wiggle these connectors as you pull them and there we go all right so let's go ahead and disconnect these again these are numbered you can see one Oh wow, they actually spread this out far. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. All right, so that's when you go ahead and put them back together. When you take it out, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna take it out. All right, just like this. You'll hear the click. That's how you know you took the screw out completely. And just continue. Right, and 
That's some crazy stuff. I've never seen the copper burn so much. Look at my hands. They're like covered in burnt stuff. And that's after I washed them like once or twice. I mean, throughout the process, not once or twice and the black stuff's still there. I mean, I didn't wash my hands recently since since taking out this stuff, so. All right, so there we go. We got that all. Let's zoom out. Oops, zoom out some more. Okay, so you want to be careful lifting this up. You don't want to just yank it up. You're going to slowly, carefully wiggle and lift. And be careful because this foam stuff might be held down with adhesive. All right. And slowly lift okay i think the foam was like melting or something so i'm gonna take this out and clean this up some more these thermal pads um i don't have replacements of this kind of thing usually i just reuse them because they look okay like here they're they're not like completely dried up or burnt um i don't know how this this paste is still pasty a little bit so i don't know how it overheated and the paste is still okay normally it will turn to a hard rock i mean the outside is kind of more rocky but this part still pasty so maybe they just didn't put enough paste here and it wasn't making good uh thermal conductivity so again i'm gonna try and clean this stuff up and i will be back all right I'll see you guys in a bit then we're gonna clean this off as well gpu is um soldered down to the board as well as the cpu so you can't replace those all right i'll be back all right, so I'm back. We cleaned up um, quite a bit, right? Cleaned up this area, got all the dust out. So I'm gonna see if I can go one step further here with this. Um, let me see if I can put this somewhere safe. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to remove the fan. I'm not sure if it's gonna be possible or not. Um, well, I mean, we're going to see if we can add some grease to these propellers, but again, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. So I'm going to switch to a PH0 or JS0 screwdriver, and we're going to remove these tiny screws here in the fan. So I'm going to try with one. They do have a little wire here. I think that's for the um, temperature sensor. So let's see here. I'm going to set that aside. I don't know if I'll be able to remove these fan propellers or not to add grease, but uh, we'll find out. All right, we'll just check one. If we can't do one, then we'll just go ahead and assume that it's not doable. Um, I probably should do the other side because this side, I can't really access the clip too well, but let's see here. Okay. Yeah, I can't really access this side too well. I think they tape all this stuff on, so maybe I shouldn't. Otherwise, I'll end up have to, having to break those tape seals. So I'm actually going to leave this as is. I need to wash my hands because they're disgusting. And the next part is to clean off the thermal paste. So I don't want to get this gross stuff all over that. So we're going to leave this as is for now. But the fans are removable, so if for some reason you needed to replace the fans, that's possible. Um, in this case, I would probably recommend if they can replace the entire heatsink if it still runs really hot. So we'll find out. All right, we're going to get that. There are model numbers here. I don't know if you need them. I'll just try and zoom in on it so you can kind of see it better. Okay, hopefully you can read that. I'm not going to read off the numbers. You can pause and read it. Okay, and the other one. So if for some reason you need that, then you got those. All right, so I'm going to clean up my... I'm going to wash my hands real quick because I am going to have to clean this stuff and I don't want to get this dirty stuff all over it. So, yep, I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back. Cleaned up my hands a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and clean off the old thermal paste. So we're just going to get some paper towel here. All right, and then we're just going to wipe this stuff off. All right, so there we go, just like that. This actually came off pretty nicely. 
So I'm not too sure how it's overheating, but uh, maybe it's not making contact at all. I don't know. But then the I wouldn't think the copper pipes would get burnt up like that. So we'll see. All right, clean that off. I'm gonna get some rubbing alcohol now. Clean this a little bit better. Using 90, I'm using 91%. All right. Okay. Okay, clean that off. Clean this off. It's actually cleaning off some other residue as well. Look at that. All right, we're gonna flip this over to the clean side. Get a little bit more rubbing alcohol on there. Clean that up again. Okay. Just like that. All right, make it shine. There we go. All right, so we're done cleaning this. These pads, again, they don't need super cleanliness, but uh, you want you don't want to try and get them too dirty, so be very careful with those. All right, some of the dust it flew on it, of course, so I can't really help with that. All right, so let's go ahead and get the board, and we're going to do the same thing, clean off the old stuff. All right, just wipe it up. So this paste somehow is still liquidy so I don't know how that's possible with how much burnt up stuff I was seeing I don't know how these components are still working if they're still working but um yeah all right let's go ahead and clean this all right I'm gonna have to do this off camera because I have to flip this upside down all right or actually I don't know if the motherboard will fall out <laughs> okay there's some screws holding it so I'll just put a piece of paper towel down. Okay. Put it this way. I'm going to hold it upside down here. And we're, I'm just going to wipe it. I mean, you can't really even see what I'm doing. So technically there's no point of me showing this. But other than to have an uncut repair video. Though I did stop a few times to go somewhere. but Or to clean out some dust. All right, we got most of it out. I need to get this out. I might have to use the toothbrush for that. Okay, so there you go. We got most of that out. I'm gonna use the toothbrush to clean up the rest. The toothbrush is kind of gross, but we'll clean it up and then we'll use some rubbing alcohol. Okay, clean that off. And clean that off. All right, let's get some more paper towel. Finish cleaning this up, put the thermal paste back, and reassemble this thing. All right, let's see, show this part. Hopefully I was filming in the right areas, I don't know. All right, we're gonna use the rubbing alcohol and clean up the dies for the GPU and the CPU here. And just dry it off. Dry it off, there we go. Then I'll use the air blower to get any lint or dust off of it. Both sides. All right. Now we're going to add the thermal paste. So these dies are smaller than the ones that I worked on earlier. I forgot which model that was. The, but anyways, if you watch my other video, I just uploaded. I'm going to be uploading these two at the same time. Right, so we're going to put a blob in the center here. Just like that. This one, this die is pretty small, so we don't need a crazy amount. Just like that should be good. All right, we're going to go for this one as well. Going to kind of similar, but have it going across. All right just like that. So now when it presses down, it's gonna grow out as like a 
not a sphere, but a oval. All right, just like that. Okay, and that should be good. So now when we put the thermal pad or the heat sink on, it's gonna smash these flat out and make it spread over the, the dies. Okay, you don't need a crazy amount. It smashes and spreads super thin. Okay, let's zoom out and let's go ahead and put this thing back together. All right, hopefully we're gonna remember where all the screws came from. Okay, so we got this. Again, this side is for the GPU, and the CPU just has these little ones that go across the top here. So let's grab this. We're gonna slowly drop it into place. Make sure you don't trap anything under. Oh, actually, that's the other thing. I'm not sure how the this thing comes up. I was looking at it. I'm not sure how you remove the charge port thing here, so. Um, if that's, if you're going to have to replace that, I'm not sure how to help you. I just know that there's this latch here. I don't think you can pull this to the side. It looks like this side would have to come up first, like slightly at an angle, and then you can pull this out. But, uh, other than that, yeah, I'm not sure how to help you with that. It looks like you'd have to use like a tool or something to maybe pry this. It doesn't even want to move. So... I don't know. I don't know how you would lift this out. Um, I mean, I guess if it's broken, you can kind of force and shove that out. But again, I don't, I don't want to mess with it since that's not what's broken on the customer's computer. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this back together. Heat sink first. All right, make sure you get the GPU side on the GPU side. I'm going to slowly drop this into place. Hold it in the center, make sure everything's lined up, and slowly drop it down. Okay, just like that. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with screw number one, twist it backwards, you'll hear it click, and then go one, two. Screw number two, same thing, you hear it click. One, two, all right, number three. Oops, number three's here. Hear it click, one, two, all right. Number four, one, two, all right. Number five, one, two. Number six, one, two. Number seven, one, two. Number eight, one, two. All right, now we're just gonna quickly go through and do the same thing. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, back to one, one, two, one, two. Oh, that's already tight. So let's actually tighten these all the way. All right, number one, number two, number three. Four, number five, number six, okay, number seven, and number eight. If you want, you can go back over one more time just to make sure because sometimes the uh, spreading of the thermal paste will slowly let you tighten it a tad bit more. There we go. Make sure to plug back in the fan connectors. Make sure you don't put them backwards. All right. Okay, there we go. Fan connector number one. Fan connector number two. Lined up. Push that in. And the way you know it's right is you have these, uh, the side with the pins showing, all right? All right, what's next here? We got the screen, I think. Is that what's next? No, we got this metal plate here. Okay, so we're gonna put this metal plate back on top. All right, we can go ahead and route this back underneath. Ouch. Okay, 
get this cable routed back under. We're going to plug this one in first. Just like that. Those are the speaker cables. Okay, make sure it clicked into place completely. Okay. These ones are good. Those are good. Okay. Make sure everything is connected and flush. All right. Now we're going to get the two screws that were down here first. Okay. And two. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and put the screen back in. So I left the screen this way when I put it, so that's how I have to put it back. So make sure get it lined up. Okay, I'm gonna let's zoom out a little bit. So I place the screen on top just like this. We're gonna look from this side, and you can see how we can line up this and get those slotted into place. Okay, so get those these two back ones here slotted into place. And if you want, you can actually put those screws first, but I'm going to put the other ones first. So we got that. I'm going to hold this down and lift this up. Okay. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is put these two outer screws so it doesn't move around. Okay, sorry, I had to move the screen so I could see where the screws were. I'm going to just loosely fit it first. Okay, not completely tightened into place, get the other one, same thing, we're not going to tighten it into place completely. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to guide these wires here, hopefully we're having them go the right way, okay, I'm going to go underneath this thing again, okay. Underneath that plastic. Don't forget the LCD LVDS cable connector here. Okay, I don't know if these wireless antennas should go on top. There we go, like that. So we'll get the connector here, get that lined up. It's going to be a little tricky. Okay. go once you get it lined up push it down into place make sure it clicks in all the way there we go and we got these cables that were kind of going over this way all right so I'm gonna leave these cables out for now we're just gonna get these routed because we need to put the little covers in first okay so get these in all right Make sure that little latch of tape is on top. Okay, now that we got that, let's go ahead and put the metal things in. Okay, so fold the screen down. And then we're going to get these little metal covers. Slide this piece in first. Drop that into place. Same thing with the other one. Okay. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Let's see here. How do we get this completely back in first? So get that lined up. Okay, make sure that it goes in properly here. Slowly open the, oops, open the screen carefully. There we go. Make sure the cables are out of the way. There we go. Okay, now that we got those, we're going to put those two screws in. Grab that one and this one. Okay. So now we're going to get this screw. Tighten that into place. Make sure that you aren't smashing these cables here. They should go underneath those little hinge covers. Alright, and then the other side. Okay, now that we got those screws in, 
can actually tighten these down. Okay. Okay, now that we got those, let's go ahead and close this. And then let's put these back screws in. I'm gonna have to rest it in my lap like this to make it easier. Get this screw in. Okay, other screw. Alright, next screw. Just like that. Next screw. Okay, got all the hinge screws in. Go ahead and put the little stickers back on there. Just like that. Next one. Same thing. Line it up. Oops. Drop it in there. Okay, and there we go. Got all the hinge screws in. Let's flip this back over. Open this up. All right, now let's go ahead and route all this cabling. So let's see here, I'm gonna use this to help lift it up a little bit easier. Just like that, like that, and like that. Okay. Like that. Now the tricky part, because all of this is here, let's get all these wires out of the way. Okay. Lift this whole thing up again. There we go. Get that in there, get this in there. Okay. Then you can put this adhesive back down, assuming that you got all of this flattened out. Okay, there we go. Now let's get the first things first. I'm gonna plug the blue cable in, just get it all lined up. If it's dusty, you might wanna blow that out. Okay, get the cable lined up and click that into place. Perfect. I'm gonna tape this piece back on here. All right, just like that. This piece is going to keep rolling up. So there we go. Okay, let's get these antenna wires down. Make sure that tape, tape sticks. This one's coming out, so we'll move that. Okay. I got this. Stay over there. Okay. So now we got this blue one here. What happened with the piece of tape that was holding it? There, I don't remember. Uh-oh, battery's too low. All right, let me charge up my phone and I will be back. It's at 15%. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I charged up to about 40%. Hopefully that's enough to finish this. Let's go ahead, lift this up. I just remembered that this was here. All right, put the tape over just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and reattach the wires here. All right. This one, gray one to the black arrow side. All lined up, push that in place. And then this one to this side. Wait, where was this connector? Is that on the, okay, that's on the other, that's the power button. All right, black one to the white arrow. All right, get that all lined up. Go, line all of this up. Get all this wiring. Only problem is this adhesive doesn't stay down anymore. All right, let's see if this will even go over here. Okay, stick that in place. Let's go ahead and grab this metal plate, slide that over. Slide that to the left. 
go. Lined up. Get the screw in there. All right, then the longer screw here. Then there. All right, hopefully we're getting everything good. Okay, let's see here. What did we... Okay, got all of that. That looks good. All right, let's go ahead and put this oops, panel back on here. The glue didn't hold. It ended up just coming out. Um, we're going to slide this back under there. And you want to make sure that these little pieces also go into these little notches or those holes there. Okay, so we're going to slide that in just like that. Slowly work our way back to get it back down. Gonna get all these clips on the sides as well. Make sure they line up. Okay, you just kind of gotta pull it back to yourself and then kind of get that in. A little bit tricky to do. There we go. go okay we're doing good here let's get this piece lined up and clicked in as well there we go get this cable lined up click that in all right that's the power button get all the rest around make sure to check that everything is clicking into place right all the way around there we go Looking good. Don't forget to put these two cables in. Okay, flip that latch up, get that in. Flip that latch back down. Hopefully you guys are able to see. Let me actually zoom in here. Okay, get this cable lined up. Okay. A little tricky. Here we go. Get under there and yeah, put that latch down. You can go ahead and press that adhesive back into place. All right, we're getting there. Let's get the keyboard. Actually, I need to clean the keyboard. I didn't do that. So I'll be back. All right, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I cleaned it up a little bit. The stuff is kind of stuck on there, but cleaned what I could. All right, make sure these latches are up. All right, okay, so we're going to get this cable in, a little bit tricky, I don't know how I'm going to show this on camera, let's see if I can, yeah, I might not be able to because otherwise it won't be able to reach, actually, let's try putting this cable first, there we go, put that latch down, all right, I think we can actually get that, my head might be in the way, I'm sorry. Okay, get that one in as well. Put that latch down. All right, and then the part where we were having trouble before because this was um, not sliding out because it was stuck. We're gonna basically slide this all the way in. As you can see now the keyboard easily clears there. Once you get that, you slide the keyboard back down. Okay, just grab under there and pull that down. There you go. Hopefully that's flush enough downwards all right i'm going to close this up flip this over and let's start putting all these screws back in all right so let's see am i missing anything we got that okay so we're going to get this screw here i think this is the first one all right and we got these two screws here this one here Don't forget to reconnect the charge port, of course. So grab that, pull it back, get it lined up. All right, and then pull that back into place. Ow. Okay, make sure you get that pulled all the way in. Looks good, okay. Get 
that screw in. Go. We'll get this corner screw over here. Right. To make it easier to remember and so I have more room, let's put these three at the bottom first. Okay. little silver screws in one here another one here did I miss one somewhere one two I think I'm missing something let's go ahead and put the screws here just to make sure one Those two there. Oh, I see. I missed that one down there. All right. Okay. Let's screw here. All right. Let's screw here. Okay. Let's screw up here. All right. Let's finish putting back in these keyboard screws. One more here, and one more over here. I think that should be all of them. Let's go ahead and put back the hard drive. So hard drive, you gotta slide this underneath, okay? And then drop that in. Should stay in place, so if you were to pull this, it's actually the clip is strong enough to lift the computer, just like that. All right, get this lined up. And then push that down into place. All right. That's good. Get the SSD. We're going to slide this tray back into place. Just like that. All right. I'm going to put this silver screw here. other silver screw here all right and then this screw here don't forget to put back the sticks of ram hopefully the other sticks of ram are good and they weren't loose because if they are we're gonna have to take it all apart again just to get to that actually I think the only thing we need to take out is the keyboard so um, if you are going to just replace the ram underneath the keyboard you actually only need to re remove these three screws, all right? And then take the keyboard out, of course, and then remove that metal plate. Okay, so we'll take this out, or put this last stick of RAM in. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and put this cover back on. We're pretty much there. All right, so it goes in at the bottom here first. Get those notches in. Then you can go ahead and start clicking everything back down. Okay. Hopefully the battery's charged, so that way I can just power it up. Though, because we disconnected everything, there's a good chance we might have to plug it in first. Alright, tighten up all these screws. Alright, this one. Last two. Yeah, this one was so much work to do. All right, there we go. And then we'll put in the battery. Just drop it in like that. All right, click it into place. Slide this over to the lock position. And we're good to go. Let's power it up. You see the lights coming on, keyboard lights coming on. And we're good. All right, so let's see. Hopefully it will boot up. All right, I see the booting stuff for Windows. So we should be good to go. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe. Share my channel with others. If 
it helped you save a bunch of money, um, please consider contributing to the channel so that I can continue doing this for a living. And also, I'll really appreciate it. As you can see, it's almost 5 a.m. right now, July 3rd. Finally finished this thing. I'm going to get probably like three hours of sleep. <laughs> but um, yeah, again, hopefully this video helped you guys. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Let's drop this.